got just a few minutes here with Tam Chabelle. Tam, the GTD class the Super Championship. Uh, so first things first, how did you grab it? Once again, folks, we really yeah, got a new chassis for us. It's different than the car we had at Sebring, so we just tweaking it a little bit. Um, you know, Ferrari's always a blast to drive, but uh, we got a little work to do. We're not quite where we want to be in practice, so we'll see how we do this second session. Now, being the championship, do you find that it's harder to defend a lead as the season goes on, or is it easier to try and play catch up to someone who's out there? Well, in sports car racing, you're, you're kind of always at the, uh, the mercy of the development programs of some of the other cars as well, and the rule changes, balance of power as the season goes on. Uh, we're definitely under the radar having one Daytona and Sebring, so, um, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's nice to have the lead, but we go into each weekend with the same mentality that we had at Daytona, that we had at Sebring. Uh, focus on getting the car really, really dialed in in practice, go out and execute to the best of our ability, the car's ability in the race, and, and uh, you know, a lot of things we can't control, we focus on those that we can. So, do you, was there a pretty lengthy conversation with your engineers and with your crew chief after each one of these practices, or is it, uh, are these things that you guys are going through already pretty well now? Well, th this team, Amy, uh, has a ton of experience with the Ferrari. We obviously know the car uh, pretty well, and uh, you know, it's basically just giving the feedback corner by corner, breaking the corner down into three different segments, um, sharing those notes with the engineer, and uh, and then letting them leverage their expertise with the data, with the, the history with this car, and making the adjustments to get the balance that we need. So tell me about uh, making the transition from a career in open wheel cars, including a championship as well, to the full body cars. Tell me about the, the changes in visibility on the track and some of the things you have to do to make it kind of change. Well, you know, coming from an IndyCar background, I still race the Indy 500 every year. Uh, when you get in the sports car for the first time, the visibility seems horrendous, right? You just, you're blinded by everything. There's way more switches on the dash. There's TV camera monitors, you know, pointing out of the back. So everything's just foreign. Uh, the car's a lot heavier. It's got less power, way less downforce. Uh, but the biggest thing is you're sitting inside a cage. Um, but it doesn't take long. After a few laps, it starts to feel more familiar. And then certainly by now, it's second nature. Luckily with the Ferrari, the Ferrari feels like an open wheel car in terms of just the mechanical dynamic. Mid-engine, the weight's really low in the car. It's almost like driving a big open wheel car in terms of, of just the, again, the dynamic of, of weight moving around on the platform. Yeah, so over the last few years, you've actually had a chance to drive absolutely sports cars. Really and now you're here with the Ferrari. So how yeah, those yeah, other manufacturers, do you feel like this is really a good fit for you in the way the car handles, the way it drives? So we I've raced Porsche, we won Sebring in a Porsche, we raced Lotus in 2012 well, the rest of the season, Lotus, and now we've been with Ferrari. Ferrari's by far the easiest of those cars to drive. I mean, it's very forgiving. It requires much less effort in the cockpit, uh, and it's just a sheer joy. I mean, the things, they, they run like a top, they're super reliable, and, um, and of course they're beautiful. There you go, kids. There's five things to talk about. All right.